guys, it's Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6. So, we've actually got some new news, and there was quite a lot of news that came out of this event. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, this news comes from Wizard World, which is sort of like a mini comic con, and they did an online version this time, and lots of the Supergirl cast were in attendance. They did virtual experiences, virtual panels. You had people asking questions. You had celebrities like Jesse Rath, Helen Slater, and lots of other people from the cast actually show up. And some of the stuff that was said was completely unexpected, and this is very, very big news. So hopefully you guys maybe have seen some of this online, or maybe this is the first time because it hasn't been widely publicized. So if you did in fact miss the news, I'm glad that I can give it to you right here. So the first thing is Supergirl's shooting date. So, all right, let's go back, let's backtrack. So originally Supergirl was supposed to finish filming, I think it was around March time, and then they were going to actually take a break, little, little break, and then they would return early to film for next season because Melissa was due to have a baby. So that was sort of organised and talked about and they sort of rescheduled and reshuffled everything because originally last season was supposed to be 22 episodes and then when Melissa got pregnant they actually cut it down to 20 so they could fit the schedule around, they could take a little break after they film the end of season 6 so that would be 20 episodes, obviously it didn't turn out like that and they would return to film for the next season for a little bit from around April to June. But obviously due to what is happening in the world right now, they were not able to do that, so filming didn't go ahead as planned, and instead we were all left speculating when is Supergirl going to return, and the big factor is why Supergirl was different from any of our DC TV shows is the fact that Melissa was due to have a baby, or is due to have a baby in the next like few weeks or so from now, and some of the other shows are saying that they're coming back to tentatively film in August or something like that, and that would be something that would not be possible with Melissa because obviously when you have a baby you are due maternity leave whether you're an actor or you're a normal person or anything, it's the same thing, you always get maternity leave and obviously you can sort of reorganise and reshuffle say because Melissa is an actor they could say cut it off early or they could give her longer pregnancy leave because it's a more flexible job than say your standard working day job out there. So, all right, so we were like thinking, oh, this is gonna be, you know, end of October, November time is when her maternity leave is gonna be finished. And obviously that's us estimating, like the people online who have a bit more information and have a little bit more insight, we sort of all calculated together that around end of October, November time, Supergirl would return to start filming if everything turns out as planned, but some shocking news from Wizard World. And that is the fact that Jesse Raff has said that they are aiming to come back and shoot Supergirl in September. At the end of September, September 28th, he actually named a specific date. And this is not September 28th, 2021, because they would not know about that right now if they were set to return, like, next year or something like that. So, yeah, Supergirl is tentatively set for a September 28th return date to start filming, and that's completely out of the blue. I did not expect this, this really took me off guard, because I was fully expecting to not get any Supergirl filming to at least, like, November. That was the day where I was like in my head, okay, you know, around November time we're probably going to see Supergirl return to film, but no, apparently they are being much more optimistic or just coming back quicker, and maybe we've just estimated wrong, and you know, that's my bad on my part for spreading that sort of news because we thought that was the case, but it obviously isn't the case. However, I must say with the September 28th start date, that doesn't mean every single member of the cast is going to come back on September 28th. This means Jesse Raff is coming back on this day, and I think they're going to do a Supergirl Season 4 right here. I got a feeling that Melissa isn't going to return filming on September 28th. I think 
they might start filming for a few weeks with the rest of the cast, and they might do what they did in Season 4. And if you remember back to Season 4, what they did with Supergirl is, basically, Melissa wasn't able to be on set before Comic-Con and everything like that, because she was actually performing on Broadway. By the way, I got to see her. Amazing and beautiful. It was the best experience. So she was up in New York doing Broadway, so she couldn't be there for the filming before Comic-Con, and I believe she was still there after Comic-Con, so what they did for Supergirl was kind of clever. Basically, they started shooting about three episodes or so, and what they did, they shot everything around the idea that Melissa couldn't be there, so they introduced the Supergirl sort of Power Rangers robot suit, where they would just need Melissa after to do some like close-ups with her face, and that's it. They could re-edit that once she started to, you know, be able to return to the set. So that was easy. They basically worked around Melissa not being able to be there. And I feel like this September 28th day is probably going to be for the rest of the cast. So they're going to start filming season 6 on September 28th. And my guess, and it's just a guess right now, is that I think Supergirl will not actually have Melissa filming for like a few weeks or something like that because I do think September 28th, I don't think that's a long enough maternity leave, like I feel like maternity leave is supposed to be longer but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Okay, so now let's move on to two of the other things that were said at Wizard World and so we have confirmation that Helen Slater, who is a big character on Supergirl, she plays Eliza Danvers, She's going to be in a couple of episodes next season, that has been confirmed. So, you know, it's not the most surprising news because we are totally always expecting Eliza to come back at any point because she is kind of, you know, a backbone of the show even though she's not like a big thing. She's just like a recurring character who always shows up because of the fact that she is the mum of Alex and Cara Danvers. So, you know, Helen Slater returning, not a big shock. But it's still very exciting to get some news like this, some casting news, because she is returning. And so the last thing that I wanted to talk about was something to do with the story of this season. So this comes from Jesse Raff again, so he's spilling a lot of stuff in this, which is kind of crazy. And I'm surprised he was allowed to say anything, to be honest. Maybe just let it slip. But anyway, he said, and this was during the panel today, or the other day when this was written, Okay, so the writers are working on a story that Jesse says is, and I quote, not a Legion story, but what I think the essence of the Legion of Superheroes is. Alright, so that is a pretty big spoiler, right? That is a big plot point to do with what they are doing with Jesse's character with Brainy next season, and I'm guessing the rest of the team Supergirl, because I think what he means here by not a Legion story, I don't think the Legion are going to return like hopefully Monero returns but I really kind of doubt it at this point apart from the fact that Chris may be free and he'll probably have to be in Vancouver due to probably having to look after Melissa's kid while Melissa is working and obviously it's his kid as well so it makes sense if they are closer together and so it's not a Legion story so let's discount maybe the Legion members coming in apart from Brainy who is a Legionnaire after all and he says but what I think the essence of the Legion of Superheroes is. So, I think the reference to the Legion of Superheroes right here is to do with the sort of teamwork and the sort of ideas that the Legion is all about, and I think it's going to be very similar with Team Supergirl. They're all going to come together, they're going to be fighting together, and it's not going to be like the Legion of Superheroes, but it's going to be Team Supergirl basically being like the basis for what the Legion of Superheroes will become in the future, and maybe... The Legion actually spun out of Team Supergirl, maybe that was a thing, I don't know, but I think this could happen. So all of this stuff is really, really interesting, and I want to know your guys' opinions on this. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about all of this? Do you think Supergirl will come back in September for filming? I think there is a chance. I don't know if Melissa's going to come back at that point, but should be the next few weeks after, at least when Melissa comes. But there is a chance she comes exactly when production starts for the first day there is a chance but thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys later goodbye
Nancy Rue.